Hello, my name is Stephanie Claudia Jomiri. I'm from LG243-4BI and today's assignment video is about building self-motivation. For this next part, I'll be explaining to you four simple steps I found on building self-motivation. First step is have a vision. First off, think about what you want to be, what you want to achieve possible make it physical print out the stuffs you like the places you want to be stick up on a wall and make this visual up, visual board where you can see the things you want to achieve and by having this vision right in front of your eyes it will help boost your morality a little bit it will help you see the things that as a as if showing you it's a reward if you keep working hard having this visual board visualize yourself then it will make it easier for you to start doing your work even get your motivation up by a little bit the second step is to set up a SMART goal in case you haven't heard SMART stands for specific measurable achievable realistic and timed goals take wanting to learn a foreign language for example to learn or master a language, you need a specific four months time frame for you to learn the language. And to be able to master it completely, you would need to have specific times and days you need to solely focus on studying this certain language itself. By having this specific and measured, really realistic and something achievable with a certain time frame, this goal will be achieved in like a certain amount of time it will be easier for you and but at the same time it will help you motivate yourself to do something immediately right the step number three is to track down your process take a pen paper, write down every single thing you've gone through so far in this journey to reach your goal by tracking your progress, you would see how far you've gone in this smart goals you have set for yourself. It also serves as uh, black and white evidence for you to see how far you've gone and how long and how much more you have to go to reach the certain goal. This will not only help you keep in track of your progress, it will also keep you motivated to keep on going and to reach the goal much more easier and faster. The fourth and the last step is to celebrate every little victories you've made along this journey on learning. For example, in this language learning, for you to achieve 10 vocabularies, to memorize 10 vocabularies in a day, is like a big achievement and it should be celebrated. You celebrate every single victories or achievements you have in learning, you will be able to boost your morale higher and keep your motivation intact while you learn. You can reward yourself with that achievement by buying yourself an ice cream or taking a break or even watching a whole movie marathon the whole night. All that matters is you know that the achievement is worth celebrating. Concluding my video for today um, is to say after having goals and visions and even the right self-motivation, you'll be able to do a lot of work in like a short amount of time. I'd say even fighting a small resistance to start doing work is like a one big step towards success itself. So I'd say start lifting yourself up and just do it. It's really that dead simple. So I'd like to say thank you for your time and good luck to everyone.